miss a space to win and after such a long time since my last video I have decided to do a rant instead so if you're expecting something different but don't worry my reviews are still in production I'm still working on them and you can expect something different next time just after seeing this subject I just had to talk about it so yeah I was reading Neo magazine which for anyone who doesn't know is the UK's source for information on the latest anime, manga and Japanese films I think it's a great little magazine. I've been a collector since issue 32. Some very useful information for looking up new material coming out, release dates, and just got some nice little articles. And the article in particular that I saw was on Full Metal Alchemist, which I do intend to read out now. And just before I start, again as usual, I apologise for any mispronunciation of uh, names here. After speculation swirled around the internet, it looks like the second TV series of Full Metal Alchemist is getting the green light. For months, the animation studio behind the show, Bones, have been denying any plans for a second season. Perhaps it enjoys tormenting Otaku for kicks. The denials lost considerable credibility when a document was leaked from the studio that listed Yashirio Airi as director for Full Metal Alchemist 2. Masahiko Minami, president of the company, issued a statement saying there was no such project planned, but now the second series has been announced on the back of the latest volume of Hiromu Arakawa's Full Metal Alchemist manga in Japan. Despite the leaks and frankly confusing counter information from Bones, it looks like the series will debate in Japan next spring. The rumour mill continues to grind and discussions now turn to whether the new series will be a sequel or a remake. That last sentence really just sums up why I want to discuss in this video. And for the record, I am a Full Metal Alchemist fan. If you've seen my collection videos, you'll have noticed I have the full anime on DVD, along with the movie. And I think it's an absolutely great series. It's, I can actually say, yeah, it is my favourite anime series that I've seen so far. So, when I heard there was going to be a second series, I was over the moon about it. But the more I thought about the, the idea that there's going to be a second series, the more I had to ask myself, how in the world are they going to pull this off? Okay, if you're a fan of the series, you'll know that the Full Moon Alchemist movie, Conqueror of Shambhala, was created to finish off the series where the last episode left off. In it, we, we are reminded that Edward Elric is trapped in our dimension, with no alchemy, while Alphonse is in their home dimension, where alchemy can be used. In it, they learn of a plot of a group called the Fool Society from our world who are trying to use these gateways to go to the world with alchemy to conquer it and use the weapons from their world in ours. Through a series of events the brothers get together and they learn the plot and by the end of the movie they stop the Fool Society by destroying both gateways in each world. Alphonse is human, Ed still has Automail and they are both trapped in our world. Because the series is called Full Metal Alchemist 2, I'm going to assume it, the events take place after this movie. So when it comes to a new series, I can only think of two possibilities of what's going to happen. The first possibility is, of course, just a continuation from the first series. This is probably, as a fan, my more favourable outcome because I'm sure as other fans of the series will agree, the cast is one of the things that made this show so enjoyable. But considering how the movie ended, I can't really see how they can pull this off because that would mean the brothers would have to go back to their world you know to have an interesting story I guess which would make all the points of the f movie irrelevant you know it might as well have never happened of course in the worst case scenario they could stay in our world and have an adventure there but this would have little to no alchemy in it whatsoever I would assume and that's just boring to watch the second possibility is, of course, the new series has a new cast of characters, of which I wouldn't be surprised if they were related to the old ones in some way. Having a story take place sometime after the events of the first series in Ed and Al's homeworld, with some new evil force trying to exploit alchemy again. Maybe some new homunculi, which would be interesting. While this story idea would probably work out better than the brothers somehow getting back to their world, again, I think the fans would complain about the you know the change in cast, and that would. And just the cast change would probably put them off, but it still probably would work better. In an extreme view, the title of FMA 2 might not be its actual official title, and instead of a sequel, we could be looking at a prequel which may delve into 
things that happened before the first series began. Perhaps they might give some backstory to Hohenheim and Dante, the homunculi maybe. But I very doubt this would happen. And to be honest, I think I'd be a bit pissed off if this was the actual second series they had been promoting. Because I'd prefer a new series altogether. Of course, at the end of the day, these, all the things I've said in this video are just theories. And until anything else is properly announced, us fans can only speculate what this next series is going to be like. But the question for me really is, will this be another instant classic like the original? Or will it be... Or will it feel more like one of those crappy movie sequels Hollywood's been spewing out recently? Well, if you have your own ideas on the next series of FMA2, feel free to leave a comment. And I hope you've enjoyed this run. Here's a special win, ending my rant on Full Metal Alchemist 2. Till next time.